Shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahabshah, Bashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Much respect to you, brothers out there, that's preaching this word of truth and sincerity. Shalom to the elect scattered abroad, the speckled bird. Let's get into it. All right. I got these scriptures written down so I can go through them quick since I'm on my lunch, my little breaks that I get throughout the day. So pretty much what it comes down to, uh, we living in the time of Habakkuk, and it's a beautiful time. And I want to thank y'all by stream outside for, for raising up the apostles and elders. And that way, you know, me coming across them, me getting built up in the spirit. And for other brothers, you know, coming across the videos, they getting built up in the spirit. And, and this is all part of prophecy. And with us coming back to our power, Yahweh by stream outside, this is what really making the prophecies go really, really quick. It's like you look up at something new. All right, so without further ado, let's get into it. Like I said, I'm going to try to go through these real quick. Habakkuk 2 and 2. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And Yahweh Bashim Shai answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth. All right, so he's writing the vision. Tables is the Bible. So you read it, and you get the true understanding. Hey, this comes here, this comes there. Because we understand, hey, this could be the end all be all where they usher in the mark of the beast. Or this can be a trial run. But either way, hey, we living in some beautiful times where, where time is just going to keep, keep going quickly. All right. For the vision is yet for a appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So it's coming, man. And, and you people out there that just think that what we're saying is, is a bunch of bull crap. Hey, man. You people is going to find out the hard way that what the men of the Lord has been saying out there on the highways and byways is coming to pass. I was talking to a, um, one of my... Um, friends that i knew from high school he was like man you love that end of the world stuff man and i was like hell yeah <laughs> pretty much in the nutshell i was like hell yeah and i was trying to show him the a we the israelites but hey the word says cast not your um to the pearls you know don't give don't give this truth to the swines man all right this truth this truth is precious I was also talking to another brother, and um, you know he he understood some things, but he was like ultimately he was atheist, and you know I was giving him some little gems here and there, but I was like yeah he's not getting it, so um, so like yeah let me look for it um, this is um Matthew seven and six, give not. That which is holy unto the dogs, neither cash ye your pearls to before swine, lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and render you. So this truth is only for the elect, and only the elect is gonna get this. Like I said, we live in it, we living in some beautiful times, and like Apostle Tahar said, man, if you can't get it, you can't get it, man. If you can't see that we living in some beautiful times that the kingdom of heaven is being ushered in. That's what I told him. I'm in a joyful spirit, man. The kingdom of heaven is literally around the corner. But, hey, man, if you can't get it, you can't grit. get it. Um, let me go to another one that I wrote down. Um, bear with me. Zephaniah. It's Zephaniah 1 and 17. And I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against Yahweh Bashim Asai. Their blood shall be poured out as dust, their flesh as the dung. Hey, Amen. The Lord ain't playing no games, man. This is what you, you people out here in the world that just want to laugh and scoff, scoff at the prophets, man. 
You're going to learn the hard way that the Lord, the Lord ain't playing no games with y'all, man. Let me get, um, I think it's 16 and 10, Jeremiah 16 and 10. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt show this people all these words, and they shall say unto thee, Whether have Yahweh pronounced all this great evil against us? They're going to be like, Why, Lord? Why is all this evil coming to pass upon us? And, and us, the prophets out there, that's been preaching this word, starting with the apostles and elders on down, be like, Hey, man, we've been telling you. We've been telling you for years that this stuff is going to come to pass. And you want to just lollygag and do your own thing. Hey, man, these prophecies are speaking in these last days, man. So when you get jacked up, hey, just understand that you didn't take heed unto the words that Yahweh by Shem outside. Or what is our iniquity? Or what is our sin that we have committed against Yahweh our power? Hey, man, the Lord ain't hearing that, man. The Lord is not hearing that cause, man. He wants you to return and come back to to his to your knowledge that you're Israelite and get into this fold, man. Because if you don't, hey, that's it. Let's get Jeremiah 15 and 2. It shall come to pass if they say unto thee, whether shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, thus saith Yahweh, such as for the for death to death, such as for the sword to sword, such as for famine to famine, such as for captivity to captivity. So that's coming, man. These famine camps you got the sword, which is Esau Edom being geared up. Hey, man, we coming in some beautiful times, man, and we're going to have to have mercy. We really going to have to have mercy upon us in these times that's coming. All right. We really are. The Lord is not playing no games and he's showing it. Let's get verse three. I will point over them four kinds, say if Yahweh, the sword to slay, Esau, Edom, and all these other pestilence, the dogs to tear, the fowls of the heaven, and the beast of the earth to devour and to destroy. Hey, that's a horrible death. Horrible, horrible deaths are coming upon this world. A great mass of people is going to be taken out by by Yahweh by Shem and He's going to ordain it. Revelation twelve and twelve. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. This devil knows that he has a short time, so he's just rolling things in, man. You seen it? You seen it? If you can't see it, man. I believe um, up here at my job, I believe it said um, this road is going to be closed at like 6. I got to look at it again to make sure, but I believe this road is going to be closed at 6. Hey, <laughs> once again, man, the Lord ain't playing. Esau Edom, the Lord is using Esau Edom to, to pretty much um, get this plan together. Verse 17, and the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of power and have the testimony of a Mashiach Yahweh All right, so that's who he's mainly coming after. But you two thirds are going to be caught up with it. You two thirds are going to be destroyed by Yahweh Basim and he's going to laugh at your calamity. Um, I so said, I'm trying to go through these real quick. For the sake of Tom, so Salakia, if it seems like I'm going quick. Proverbs 1 and 20. Wisdom crieth without, she utter her voice in the street. She crieth in the places of, uh, she crieth in the chief place of concourse in the opening of the gates in the city. She uttered her words saying, how long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity? You people just love in simplicity. Thinking all that toilet paper and all that stuff is going to save you, man. Only one that's going to get you out of here is following the law, statutes, and commandments. See how about you, All right. And praying that the Lord have mercy upon your household. Praying that he have mercy and election upon your household, man. All right. These Jordans, everything that you've been buying up ain't going to save you. Your riches are not going to profit you in the day of wrath. Proverbs 11 to 4. All right. Choose you this day who you going to serve. You going to serve your money. 
or are you going to serve your Bashim outside? You're going to serve yourself. You're going to serve the black woman. What you going to do, man? All right. How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity, scornest delight in the scorning, and fools hate knowledge. So this fools hate knowledge. Talking to these people and they don't get it. They can't see that we in the last days. That the Lord ain't playing. I will turn at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit upon unto you. I will make known my words unto you. The elect is, is getting this word and understanding it. Because I have called and ye have refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. This is what we read in, in, in Ezekiel too. You know, he made you watchmen. And... He telling you to go out there and preach his word and they're not going to listen. They're not going to. They're not going to understand. So this calamity is going to come upon them. But you did your job in warning them. I have. Salakia, I have. But ye have set at not at my all my counsel and would not none of my reproof. The Lord is trying to reproof you, trying to get you in order. I will also laugh at your calamity and I will mock when your fear cometh. Hey, man, that's going to be the men of the Lord laughing at y'all because we was out there preaching this word in season, out of season, in the cold and the rain, man. And y'all didn't want to listen. So the men of the Lord is ultimately going to be laughing and scoffing at y'all. Y'all laughing and scoffing at us, uh, uh, making false claims, making false allegations. Well, guess what? The Lord is going to recompense you. You're going to have that fear and you're going to have destruction coming to you. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when the distress and anguish come upon you, then they shall call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Hey, that's coming, man. Let's get the apocrypha. Like I said, I'm trying to breeze through this. All right. So, Salakia. Um... Since I'm in um, 2nd Ezra 6, let me get 6 and 22. 2nd Ezra 6 and 22. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. So this is coming, man. Uh, we seeing that happen now. 2nd uh, Ezra 8 and 1. And he answered me saying, The Most High have made this world for many but the world to come for few. Hey, the world to come for few. And, and Lord willing, we are the elect. We got to keep on pushing this word and endure to the end, man. Hey, Lord willing, we are the elect. Uh, I'm going to get uh, verse 3. There be many created, but few shall be saved. Many created, but few shall be saved through these times, man. Why? Because fools hate knowledge and they don't want to take heed unto the word of Yahweh Bashim al man. They don't want to take heed. Uh, uh, heed to this word, man. All right. I said, I'm breezing through this. Uh, let me get second Ezra 15. Behold, speak in the ears of my people, the words of prophecy, which I have put in thy mouth, say if you howl and cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true. This is faithful and true. And it's coming to pass. It's not tearing. So I can, let me see what time it is. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Because a lot of these people have unbelief. And they and this unbelief is really going to show in these last days, man. They're going to be caught up. All right. Uh, so like you. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So all y'all... They keep on scoffing and mocking the prophets. Hey, you're going to die a horrible death. Behold, say, say if you how I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. That's coming to you niggas, man. Let me get 2nd Ezra 9. 2nd Ezra 9. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest the part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then thou shalt understand that is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So we seeing these plain beginnings, wonders, and effects, man. And you two-thirds, you people just ain't taking heed to it, man. You thinking that we crazy, man. Hey, guess what? You're going to be caught up with this destruction. You have no excuse. 
um, let me see. Therefore, when thou there shall be seen earthquakes, uproars of the people in the world, then thou shalt very, uh, then thou will um, understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that they were before thee, even from the beginning. For like all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Even so, the times of the highest has plain beginning, one and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. I'm going to jump down to verse 11. And they that have loathed my law, while they had yet liberty, so they had liberty, place of repentance is open, and yet a place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it, the same must know it after death by pain. Hey, that's coming, man. You two-thirds that don't want to take heed to it, want to think that we crazy. Uh, everything that we saying here is not going to come to pass. Hey, man, y'all going to be caught up with this death and destruction. The Lord ain't playing with y'all, man. So, so Slakia I had to get this out real quick. So I want to give all praises going on to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakan, Until next time, Lord willing, Shalom.